Hello and welcome to Mum and Son's Ad Hoc Channel. Our last video was in Belgium and we returned to the UK in January this year. Upon our return to the UK in January, I completed the purchase of our new home and it was all systems go, go, go. Hi guys <laughs> oh sugar I said I wasn't gonna say that Let's start again hello new and old followers so I decided that throughout the summer should have actually started earlier that I do one day a week in penny but you know what it's like life gets in the way and uh, yeah I've just started this week so this is the first week that we're staying in Penny. Even though um, it's only one night, I had loads to pack because I took everything out of Penny when I thought I was gonna rent her. So it was quite a long-winded exercise um, packing today. Um, and I'm just so tired. Um, so what have we done so far today, Quincy? Okay. So today I pulled up to Penny, obviously she had no water in her. I had to go and fill her up and ended up getting covered in water, which was a great start. Unpack Penny. And then went to the playground. It's like a miniature version of the actual Battle Abbey. Okay, so we're heading to the playground now, Battle Playground. You've got Battle Abbey, which is obviously the main abbey. And then they've got a replica for kids to play on. We haven't been here for a while. Oh, we're going the wrong way. We haven't been here for a while. And then we went shopping, got some bits. Happy pastry, Quincy. And I'm about to cook something. Um, I've also come to see, make sure everything is working in Penny. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make something. I'm going to do prawn noodles. What's the verdict, Quincy? What verdict? Do you like the food? Quincy's been very impatient today, which is really hard work when you're trying your best to get everything done. One minute. One minute. One, Mum. No, it's one and a half minutes. That's not too okay. bad. Give me a break, son. Give me a break. I'm sweating. It's a beautiful day, though, so I can't complain. <laughs> I thought I left the keys in Penny. Thankfully, I didn't. Um, yeah, it's a lot. But we're going to do this. <laughs> the car seat so you've got a chair i haven't got a chair but as long as you're comfortable that's all that matters Just 
morning. Morning, Mum. quite normal for me can you hear that noise in the background it's Ken on his tractor um, so <clears throat> excuse me I always um, have a bag of rubbish and my dishes in a, a bag on the back I like to keep it outside you know what it's like with sort of smelly dishes and rubbish in a small space so yeah I tend to, to put them on the back of the uh, bike rack works for me anyone else do this or is it just just me that's Ken over there doing the rounds on his tractor. I don't know if you can see him in the distance there. There he goes. This is how much of a noob, as my, as my son would say, um, I was when I came to owning a motorhome. This awning, I didn't know until my friend alerted me to it yesterday that these legs uh, need to do something to ensure that it doesn't hang so low. So all the traveling I did, I had the awning, you're right there Quince, I had the awning low like this, when really it should be higher. So I'm now trying to work out what I need to do. I'm gonna have to call my friend Andrew. This is called a friend time. You okay there son? And the other thing is, we was never able to open this door and I used to, it used to really annoy me to have the awning out because the door wouldn't close, obviously, because it needs to, the awning needs to be higher. So yeah, oh dear, he learns something new every day. It's bloody noisy here this morning with the tractor, but look, Penny's got legs. Quincy's chilled out on the tree. Well, not on a tree, sitting by a tree. But look at this. Look how beautiful she looks. I cannot believe I drove around Europe without putting these beautiful legs down on Penny. Really makes it. And it comes out even further than that. Becoming a mother leaves no woman as it found her. It unravels her and rebuilds her. It cracks her open, takes her to her edges. It's both beautiful and brutal, often at the same time. Love you, Mum. Love you. Love you too, darling. <laughs>